gonna see if I can't do a little uh, clean up on the chuck here. That last crash killed my one inch boring bar pretty good. Wasn't too thrilled with that. And uh, chewed up my lathe chuck pretty good. Mounts into the three quarter inch collet, same as the TTS stuff. Uh, so I took a big washer I had and cut the center out. And I probably could have cut it a little bigger. Uh, it, it's close enough. I just I don't want to clamp it in and go against that side of the uh, the screw, the spiral. Uh, forget exactly what it's called. So anyway, that that'll sit there, and I can tighten it up against that, and I'm clear. I can come in and touch the top of these, graze these off, and clean that up, and get that uh, get that set up pretty nice. And it's it's somewhat close to this diameter. That's kind of what I was shooting for, but. Um, I didn't quite, uh, I didn't quite make it big enough. I suppose I could throw it back on the lathe there and open it up a bit more. It's not like it has to be hugely strong. To, uh, I can only generate so much force with the, with the little chuck and the key. Another eighth of an inch would be nice because I, I really kind of wanted to get that more or less round, right at the diameter of the ID of the slug. If the diameter I grind it to now is just a hair small, that just means the crown the the center of each jaw will grab on here instead of the outside edges. Okay, the outside edges is what was grabbing and so I had six sharp points and if I really cranked on it, it would it would actually leave marks. They got machined out later, it didn't, didn't matter, but uh, okay. I went ahead and opened it up. Oh yeah, hell, I opened it up almost a hair too big. Now we're gonna try doing with this, this with the jog. Both the chuck and the grinder are uh, pulling it away from me, so I don't think I'll need to uh, have the, uh, the front doors closed. I was just looking at the uh, open ways in the back there. I should have put oil in that dot grinder before I started this. Well, damn it, initial look, you know, it uh, looks pretty nice. So I think the sides are good. Um, I could grind a little bit more off those uh, faces. The ends here, they're still pretty rough. And the others, you can tell uh, I paused in there. So let me go in and uh, clean that up a bit. You know, I think I'm gonna uh, give that a try. And see how I like it in action. I, I gotta pull out the and deburr some of the edges with the diamond files or whatever. But I'm not gonna worry about getting these all the way cleaned up because the reality is I'm gonna hit them again with another tool. But uh, at least half, two thirds of the surface area on there is good to go. And these side ones are actually pretty darn clean except for uh, that nick over here. So I'm gonna take the ring off and see how it fits with a uh, with a slug. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, diamond, diamond, uh, easy lap, diamond hone stone. And this is the coarse one, so... Because everything on the chuck is hardened. So, there's no point in me going and getting a file. File's not going to want to touch it.
guess I have to put it back on for whatever reason. At least get it somewhat close. Using the screen as a backlight, now I'm not seeing any daylight in the flats there. Boy, that looks to grab really nicely. Well, let's put it up in the middle and see how it spins. Now, granted, it's DOM. <laughs> so, dimensionally, the outside's pretty darn accurate. The inside's pretty darn accurate. Um, but I have come across DOM that is not, the center is not perfectly concent concentric with the outside. It'll, it'll be shifted off a little bit, which is why my very first operation, I grab it by the ID because there is so little I'm taking off here that I need to know, there's plenty on the outside, but I need to know that uh, the center, it, the ID is centered, okay? So I grab it by the inside and then I can cut off whatever excess and wobble and everything like that and non-concentricity -con uh, is on the outside. So I don't want to, I'm not going to spin it at 1500, let's put it down more like 500. And that's certainly as close as uh, I could hope for. The way I cut the part, since I cut the inside and the outside all at one time, everything's perfectly concentric. And I've, I've explained this before, but uh, then when I flip it over and I do the second op, that op's not critical. It doesn't center anything, you know? Nothing's relying on its uh, position. Now, when I put this in here, okay, y yeah, it's got some wobble. It, it doesn't matter. Once you apply a load on it, it's going to stay in the same spot basically okay that's my figuring but at first I was worried about it being perfectly flat and then I realized the slight tilt to it actually made it better because then I could grind on the very edge here instead you know it, it is marked up a little bit maybe not sure if that's from previous or from now probably from now but uh, I mainly wanted to see if I could keep it out on the on the corner here and then when I was grinding in the front, I knew this would flatten itself out or whatever or uh, to, to do the, uh, the vertical on the jaws there. So I think I'm going to call that good.